everyone. So today's video is going to be a little different. We're not gonna be on the boat, but we're gonna be outside. So still getting those Florida vibes. I've had a few questions on other social media about my gardening and plants because I post about it a lot and I buy a lot of plants and that sort of thing. So I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along as I'm starting my spring garden. It's towards the end of March and I have a lot of my seedlings already started. I'll show you guys them later. And I'm about ready to start transplanting things outside in the garden, whether they're gonna be in the ground, in the raised bed, in the pots, all that sort of thing. So I'm going to take you guys along for a little bit of that today. Obviously, it's not the whole process. It's just gonna be a fun little video, but first stop is I'm heading to my local Ace Hardware because they are holding four milkweed plants for me. I've been really into raising monarchs um, over the past few weeks, and they're just going through so much milkweed. I've been on the hunt for it, so Ace is holding some for me, so I'm gonna go there, pick that up, pick up a few different, you know, soil, dirt, last minute things that I need, and then we'll be back at the house and transplanting some things and getting things organized, figuring out where I want stuff, and I'll show you guys some of that and show you some of what I'm growing this year. So, let's go get started with that. Also, if you guys want a video about the monarchs, Just got back from the store, we went to Ace and to Lowe's and got everything I need. So now I'm going to change, get some sunscreen on, probably a hat, all that fun stuff. And then I'll take you guys out back and show you what we got. And then we we'll get to get in. So let's go. It is going to be a very hot day, 83 degrees. It's March in Florida um, and we don't have too much wind at all and then my backyard in general gets like almost no wind so it's very stale back there but you know it's cool we're just feeling the heat so let's get changed let's get protected from the sun and let's get our butts outside i grabbed some more soil because you could never have enough and some window boxes that'll be hanging on my fence Here's the milkweed that I ended up picking up. I picked up four of them that day. I probably have like 18 at this point. Some pentas flowers just because they're pretty and they're like heat tolerant. And this jasmine that I'm trailing up on my other fence to try to get a little bit more privacy. And here I am just showing off for my monarch caterpillar babies because I am a very proud mama. Here you can see how I'm hanging these pots, window boxes, whatever you want to call them, along my fence. So I drilled holes in it and then I used an S-hook to hang them on. This was actually my mom's idea to get use of more space and block out the neighbors. And I love it. I can't believe how much this has grown since I filmed this. I'll have to do an update. This has got to go. Just uh, should not do well over the winter. It's the only thing left in the bed. So that is coming out and then I'm going to put watermelon in this bed this year and just let it take over. There's another blackberry over there, or a blackberry. So this area, even though it's pretty messy right now, is all new garden space for this year. This is a watermelon seed that just grew out of scraps in this area and it survived the winter. It's never gotten any bigger and it's kind of died off a few times, but it's still there. So I'm just gonna leave it and let it do whatever it wants. Um, we have some bell peppers that grew here again out of scraps when I was just like kind of free composting over the winter or just throwing things here. Um, those actually grew up in pieces when I was producing. I'm going to leave those there. This guy's gonna come up these were sweet peppers. I had a bunch of them last year. They were great. They put out a ton of peppers, but um, I just didn't really use that many. So I took them all up. I'll probably move them somewhere else. And then you see I have the trellises here. So then we're going to have some probably cucumbers back here. That's where they can grow up the trellises and then have stuff in front of them. And then over here, I'm, I'm doing pumpkins this year, so I'm probably gonna put a pumpkin um, over in this space. 
don't really know what I'll do with that right now. We'll say see. So you can see I have all the milkweed, like I was showing you guys, um, the monarch butterflies. They just go through so much milkweed. They have eaten so many of my plants, so that's why I got four more today. There's some more over here. You can see there's a guy there. Um, and these are the new ones. You can see them all bushy compared to these sad little sacks. Hi, hey, buddy. Hey, bud. These are coming up. These are just daisies, which is technically a weed, but I just, I didn't care. So I'm gonna take those guys up and then have those pots. Leftover tomato from last year that um, seeded itself from, again, compost. And then through the screen here, you guys can actually see I have all, not all, but a lot of my seedlings started. So there's zucchini, there's lupa, there's cucumber, there's watermelon. We got some tomato. We got some jalapeno pepper, some pepperoncini. We got Wednesday over here being super cute. Um, more seedlings in here. I think these are flowers. That's milkweed in there. Other seedlings. And this is my inside plants. Um, here we have some corn, some pumpkin, some green bean, and Lufa. Oh, look. So seedlings going there too. And then here we have more milkweed seedlings. This is one of my newest prized possessions. This is a mother of thousands. So this on all of these little notches, you see those right there? It will start growing little plants, little um, more of its own plants, and just they fall off and it replants itself. So I need to find a home for this. I want it to be inside. It's very toxic to cats. Like even if they get the water of it, it's toxic. So that's why it's been outside for now because I have to find a safe place to put that like out of Wednesday's way. We have milkweed, milkweed. I actually have a coconut that I brought home from the Keys that I'm trying to get going, but I don't really know if it's gonna handle the weather I'm stuck here. So yeah, guys, there's a little bit of what I have going on at the moment, but um, just gotta get, just gotta get more of this stuff like in the dirt and where it needs to go. This is where mistakes were made. So I got my seeds mixed up and I thought I was filling this bed with watermelon and I ended up filling it with lupa. It ended up fine. I kept the back rows of lupa and trellis them up and then cleared the front and ended up adding watermelon to it later. But it took me a while to figure it out. Better view of the inside stuff. Hey, Wins. Are you so cute? This is a key lime that I grew from my key lime tree and this is I can't remember if this is a key lime or a lemon seed, but I grew both of these from seed last year. Um, here's all that stuff down here I was showing you. This succulent that Wednesday knocked over the other day, so it looks sad. And then I took all these little aloe pieces from the keys when I was there. And snake plants. Snake plants are super easy to propagate. Um, I have them just around my yard and then I hack them off and I plant them and then I get more. <laughs> there's all those seedlings. And then in my porch. And then in here you'll see the monarch, the solicitors. But again, we can talk about that more in another video if you guys want. Here you can see I have put some new seedlings in these pots along the fence. Look how tiny and cute they were. It is hot as heck time. 3.30, we're going to take a little shot break. Um, don't know if this is gonna be good. We're gonna try the Bang Delicious Strawberry Kiss and this Svetka Strawberry Lemonade that we have. Um, so let's see. I know my kitchen's a mess. I got all my recycling out. Like, let me live my life. Um, short people hack. I don't even have a mixer up here. Thought I would, but normally if I did, this is how I grab things that are up high. I know I have one up in this cabinet. You guys can see up there. Yeah, I can't reach that. I can barely reach this shelf. So.
This is pretty sweet. Very sweet. Can't run away to this. So I can't do a super vigorous shake, so we're gonna kind of do a swirl. This is called, guys, making the best of every situation. So our ramp was closed today. They're doing some repairs on it. And we didn't feel like going to a different ramp. So we decided we are gonna do yard work and we're gonna have drinks and we're gonna have shots and we're listening to music and we're making it super fun. So chores don't have to be boring. I mean, I love being in my garden and doing stuff anyhow, but still, if you hate it, turn it, make it fun, make it a game. You only live once and you gotta do some stuff you don't want to. Make it fun. Um, my friend Liz, shout out Liz. I don't think you watch my YouTube videos, it's fine. Just best friend since we were 12, no big deal. Um, she got us these shot glasses. It says, may you never go to hell, but always be on your way. And that kind of ties in with what I was just saying of, you know, bye then. To making the most out of our Saturday. You might recognize these cups. I found them while boating one day floating in the water and I scooped them up and now they're my dirt cups. All you keep focusing on other pictures of how many people double tap your pictures are shallow. That's the reason that I'm not diving in. Hey, we got two pumpkins in. This was supposed to be my little pumpkin patch, but honestly, I have struggled and I will not have pumpkins for all of them. I've been in, you're looking for crews that can prove I've been sinning. Tipping petrol over furniture. Who's this bird on the gram? If you heard of her, you best tell me the truth. If you value our love, if you're lying, I promise I'll murder the pair of you. Where are you? When would you be back at home? Listen, you could you pick up the the next day I decided to start some new seedlings, so here I am showing you a great way to reuse your paper rolls and it'll save you money so you don't buy those little seedling starter kits. So you can just take them, you put these little notches in, and then you fold them down like a box. It's a great way to not only recycle, reuse, but also save yourself some money. So I highly suggest this, it's a great way to start your seeds. A friend sent me these seeds, so that was everything I was starting this day. But I'm sad to say this is another one of my 2020 failures. I did not get any of these to thrive. But it happens and I'll try again next year. I'm gonna say something. This is what we call teamwork. And we wrapped up our garden weekend with some backyard paint. A little bit of sun, some games, and of course some cold drinks. If you guys are interested in an updated garden tour, let me know, or let me know if you want to see the Monarch video. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and we'll be back to fishing soon. Bye! Also, I have merch now. If you scroll down below the description box on YouTube, you can see some t-shirts. I have the classic logo and the new logo, and they come in a variety of men and women's shirts and sets. So check them out if you want to rep some roomy toys.